All right, Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites, and we come out every week to prophesy the downfall of this wicked place, America, and to wake up our people, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, to the fact that y'all are the Israelites of the Bible. Y'all are the chosen people of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai in the true name, in the Paleo ancient Hebrew. All right, what's called biblical Hebrew. If you look up biblical Hebrew, it's going to take you past the modern Hebrew back into the Paleo Hebrew, which the word Paleo means ancient. And in that, in that language, you'll find the Father's true name, Yahweh, and His Son's true name, Yahweh Shai, and His people's true name, Yahshua Allah. All right? Now, there was a time where our people, we went off and we sold out. You know, we were sold to the workings of sin. All right? We were sold to do evil. But now the Lord is bringing us back. The Lord raised up the so-called white man in this system called America, right? Their biblical name is Esau. The Lord raised them up and gave them power, gave them a blessing. And that blessing was what? The sword. To gain the world through the fatness and riches, through robbing, killing, stealing, and murder. All right? And through that, and through their, um, through that blessing, they were able to build and what they built was a place called Rome. What they built was their religion, man-made ideas. What they built was militaries and weaponry. You see that? And that's what keeps our people bound today. Now, in the midst of the Lord uh, raising them up, he brought us down. What is that? Uh, they should get up very high. You should get low. Uh, Deuteronomy. All right. Let me know if somebody gets it. Because that's prophecy, man, for our people to be destroyed. Hosea 4 and 6. I got it. Oh, you got it? Uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 43. It says, The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. So the stranger that is within us, so these Edomites, these heathens, they all got up over us very high. And thou shalt come down very low. And how do we come down low?
right, and he saw the so-called white man. Go ahead, brother. So, so he said, hell has come up to meet you. All right, because you done put what's yourself up, in the high seat. All right, what's up, man? I remember you. Man, I'm so pissed off on Go on. Right. Hey, man, you know it happens, though. They have raised up from the rules all the kings of the nation. All right, so now Russia's been raised up. Who else has been raised up? Venezuela's been raised up. Who else? China. 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 North Korea. North Korea. Korea. India. Iran. India. Iran. 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 Syria. Syria. Everybody. Everybody's being raised up against America because the scriptures say it's prophesied that these nations are going to be put in array around about Babylon and shoot at her with their arrows. But before that happens, the Lord is going to tear them down, tear the leaves off their tree, man. All right? Tear the, tear the riches off the whore. She's going to be burned and stripped naked. Right? It says, All they spe all shall speak and say unto thee, Are thou also become weak as we? Right. All the nations are saying they're stronger now. He said, Let the weak say we are strong. And now Venezuela is saying, Look at America. Y'all used to be strong compared to us because of the military and because of the banking system, because of the dollar. Now Venezuela, Venezuela just dumps the dollar. Now they're using cryptocurrency. All right, so America is becoming a third world country right in front of your face. Why everybody over here celebrating, go ahead. Are thou become like unto us? Thy pump is brought down to the grave, and the north of thy bowels, the worms are spread under thee. Right, thy pump, thy riches, thy wealth, that pride is brought down to the grave, brought down to the ground. That's what the word hell means, grave. Same word. There's no hell under the earth. Hell is a condition played out upon the earth. Go ahead. And the worms cover thee. The worm, that way it say in hell where the worm dieth not. Meaning right here on the earth. Alright? The, the, the worm exists in the midst of death. Alright, so the Lord said, Esau, the so-called white man, they're going to be destroyed forever. A continual destruction. That's what that means, man. Go ahead. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Right, Lucifer represents the Illuminati first, which is the European Union. All the way down to the NATO. Alright, all them European uh, uh, banking uh, uh, cartels, man, family. Rothschild. You know? He said, uh, Lucifer, they come down to the ground. They're going to be brought down quickly. So-called white man, Job 9 and 24. Somebody grab that? I got Job 9 and 24? I got it. Job chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Yes. He covers the, 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 the earth. The earth and all the elements in it have been given into the wicked. Even the people have been handed over to the wicked, but not the spirit. The spirit belongs to the Father. All right, go ahead. But now he's going to give everything to his son, Yahusha. Go ahead. He covers the bases of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right. So the so-called white man, starting with the Illuminati, on down to Esau and America. The founding fathers of America, right? Now, let's, uh, uh, what was that, um... from Russia, from China, all these other countries, Iran, they're passing around nukes in this new um, uh, 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 arms race. You know, all the ones that's passing around this weaponry, the Lord's saying, shoot at her, man. Prepare prepare your weaponry and shoot at America. Because the Lord is promising that he's going to bring down her walls and her defenses, man, and make it weak. Look at, look at the, uh, the damn uh, caravan that's coming over here. Nobody thinks they're going to be able to get through, but the Lord going to make a way if it's that time. Go ahead. All right. For she has sinned against the Lord. Shout against her around the belt. She have, have given her hand, her foundations are false. Yeah, just like Edom, just like Moab, just like all these nations, Babylon, you know, Assyria. How about that? 
You know, all these nations that have uh, uh, put their hands on us, the Lord had another nation follow up to bring them down. All right? Or he'll, ha he'll have us get judged, and then he'll, use them, he'll, he'll judge them nations. He'll focus on them and speak to them, say, I'm about to judge you. And, and now in this time, the Lord saying he's going to judge the so-called white man. He's going to judge two-thirds of our people that don't want to listen. And he's going to judge the rest of these people. All right, go ahead. At that way, in, and in that day, all right. Her walls, her protection, her financial protection, her military, everything thrown down. She spread thin all over the world, man. All right. All her, all, all her, uh, her allies, her banking ties and protection is gone. Go ahead, brother. All her lovers. For it is the vengeance of the Lord. Take vengeance upon her, as she have done. As America has done, scriptures say double is going to be done unto this place. All the damage that they done, they have done to the children of Israel, all that demonocracy, all that going around destroying certain nations, dropping bombs on everybody, now the Lord is going to have all that recompense come back on this place, America. And then recompense is fully going to be paid on you damn Edomites in the kingdom. Go ahead, brother. This is Ezekiel. Because y'all had us in your kingdom, the Lord is going to let us get you when you're in our kingdom. This is Ezekiel chapter 38. I'm going to start at verse 10. Yep. That said, Yahweh of, of God, it should also come to pass that at that same time sh shall things come in thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. Right, Russia, China, North Korea, all these countries going to think an evil thought. And just go up to America. Go ahead. And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages, and I will go to them that are at rest. Yep. That dwell safely, all of them dwelling without walls and having neither uh, bears, bars. bars, nor gates. Yeah, man, turn it around. See that, man? Everybody resting. And the scriptures say even the evil, uh, what is that? Uh, uh, Zechariah was in the four horses. Oh, the, the, the wicked are at rest. All right, you, you got you got two thirds of our people that are at rest. What's that? Uh, uh, what, uh where's that? Um, um, crossed down like a lion, a young lion. Crossed down, Judah crossed down like a lion. He should rise up. <coughs> Let me know when you get it. It should be over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, because right, our, our people are like, are at rest in this society, man. They don't believe that the Lord exists. The so-called black man, the scriptures say she's our enemy. And she, don't, she damn sure don't believe that we have any power or that there's power out there. Why? Because they're carnal. They believe in what they see. And right now they see Esau over. That's what they respect authority, man. Unless they're a righteous spirit. On a red horse, and he stood, stood amongst the the myrtle, the myrtle tree that were in the bottom, and behind him were their red horses, right. Right. and sparkling and white. Then said I, O oh my Lord, yeah, speckled and white. Speckled and white. Right. What they're talking about? That's your house amongst the angels, man. And the myrtle trees represent his elect. See that? And the speckle, the speckle represents sparkling, and it was bright. Uh, the chariots, the chariots were glistening white, you know, glowing. All right. So they had a sparkle to them. That's what the word, that what the word speckle means. Go ahead, brother. Then said I, O oh my Lord. Was that Amos nine and eight? Where it said the eyes of the Lord upon the sinful kingdom. Go ahead, brother. Then said I, O oh my Lord. Right. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites of the Bible. Go ahead. Oh no. What are these? And the angel that talked with me said unto me, I will show thee what these be. Right, what are these? Go ahead. And the men that stood amongst the, 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 
uh, Myrtle Trees answered and said, These are they whom Yahweh have sent to sent to walk and sent to walk to and forth through the earth. Right, and who is that? Go ahead, brother. Eyes of the Lord. This is Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, uh, Revelation 7 are upon the sinful kingdom. Right, so it's the eyes of the Lord are his angels. So the eyes of the Lord is what the scripture is talking about right there in Zechariah 5, right? Zechariah uh, 1. Alright? That's what it's talking about. The angels that the Lord chose, the spirit that he have created, to do the will of the Father throughout the earth. But only one spirit he chose to sit at his right hand. That's Yahweh Shah. Alright? So this is this is the ranking and the setup in the heavens. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saying that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. Right. See, look, look at these people, man. He's destroyed. Look, he walks around like a dead man. And they're looking at us crazy. Look at how look. See how you looking at us? Yeah, they, they celebrate death, man. They ain't even Halloween, Halloween week. The day of the dead. Yeah. Ain't even that yet. They, they looking at too like they normally looking at us like we in cost. Right, read that again, man. Eyes of the Lord. This is Amos 9 and 8. Yeah. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, are upon the sinful king. Right, look, you feeling shame right now, go ahead. And I will destroy it from the up the face of the earth, saying that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Right, the same way she walking with that costume on her. Same way these people gonna be walking around with that, that 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 dirt on them, man. That scum in that day, and they are gonna be shamed. All right, she was shamed. She wouldn't even look over it. She was like this, and shit. huh? You know? Go ahead, brother. Galatians 7 and 1. Yeah. So the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. We we'll get that part one second though. But and the eyes of the Lord represent the angels, the chariots, uh, the elect, uh, the poor angels. Go ahead, brother. Revelation chapter 7 verse 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor the sea, nor on any tree. Yeah, go ahead. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. He cried with a loud voice, and the four angels to whom it, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, say, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, so we have sealed the service of our power in their foreheads. That's right, man. So that's clear. And the Lord is going to wake up 144,000 men and, and the rest of the one-third. But he uses what? He chose certain spirits. He created them uh, uh, for this day. All right? He made his angel spirits. He's talking about uh, Uriel, Gabriel, Michael, and uh, uh, Raphael. And they're the archangels, meaning the top angels. And the archangel over him, over them, is Jehoshaphat, set to be the deliverer. All right? Uh, go ahead, brother. All right, this is uh, Zechariah chapter 1, verse 11. Yep. And they answered the angel of Jehovah that stood amongst the myrtle trees and said, We have oh, myrtle trees. Myrtle trees. Yep. And said, We have walked to and forth to the earth, and behold, all the earth stood still and is at rest. That's right, man. So the, all the earth representing the people is standing still and it's at rest, man. Why? Because they're at rest in their wickedness. I think it's more, right? God. Verse 12, it says, Then the angel of Yahweh answered and said, O Yahweh of hosts, how long wilt thou not have mercy on Jerusalem and on the city of Judah, against which thou hast had indignation three, these three score and ten years? And Yahweh answered the angel that talked with me, and he says, With a good word and comfortable word. So the angel that commanded me, the uh, communion,
Alright, uh, go ahead, bring it up. This is uh, Psalms chapter 2, verse 1. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Great. That's that, that's that sea. When he said he saw a great sea and it was uh, the, the waves uh, uh, roaring. What he's talking about is these people. And there should be no more sea in that day. All the uproars of the people is going to cease, and, you know, and we're going to be at rest. And our rest starts right now. But these people are resting in this society over with their authority. Go ahead, brother. It says, the kings of the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers took counsel together against Yahweh and against his anointed saying, Let us break the bands asunder and cast away the cords from us. And he that sit up in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai shall have them in derision. Right, Romans 11, Akim, somebody. All right, what they say right there? They say, let us cast their cords asunder. I Meaning we don't want them to be remembered. Let's blot them out of the earth. Let's erase them from being a nation on this earth forever. See, once you do that, you would think that it would be forever, right? But the Most High exists. That's why he's saying, no, I'm going to bring them back. Go ahead, brother. Uh, this is Job, chapter 20, verse 5. I started at 4. Knowest thou not this of all, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Right, because the promise of the children of Israel, that's eternal. Right? That's eternal. You know, that's a, that's a heavenly blessing. And that's been promised to us uh, since the times of Abraham. Shit, since the times of Adam. You know? And, and ever since then, the triumphing of the wicked, wicked has been short. And they don't have a promise in the kingdom to have, to have a ruler. Look, look, right come now. on, huh? Right.